guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In this week's video we're going to be doing an episode of Wreck This Journal and I forgot what we're doing already. <laughs> Page 180 and 181. Oh it's a colourful page. So if you didn't know I've actually got the colour edition. Some people have just got the black and white version. Do I regret buying the colour version? Yes, yes I do because it's kind of got a shiny paper you can't like put watercolour straight into. So yeah I've had to adapt the paper to my liking but it is quite nice to have colourful pages at the same time. For, for most people it'd be fine but for me I like to do a lot of watercolour so this page is smush something colourful onto this page. I was thinking of smushing berries onto this page because berries leave such a beautiful colour. Blueberries and strawberries and blackberries and just go and squish it onto the page. And then on the left page, because I want to bring some art into it, I want to draw some beautiful pictures of berries. I have strawberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries and snozberries. Snozberries? Who ever heard of a snozberry? So let's go get some berries and smush them onto the page. So I got a bag of frozen fruit and I warmed it up in the microwave a little bit, uh, which kind of helped because it meant I could really squish this stuff onto the page. As you can see, I'm going quite carefully to start with, but then when I snapped that strawberry into two, I was like, I'm just going to go for this. And I tell you what, this was probably one of the most satisfying things I've ever done. It was... <laughs> <laughs> so enjoyable. I definitely recommend this to anyone. Uh, just, just smush fruit with their fingers. Like, it, yeah, it's good fun. Really good fun. I should probably also talk about the fact that it does leave colour, uh, thankfully. As I mentioned earlier, it's kind of a glossy paper and I think it would have worked really well on a white paper. Uh, it would have picked up all that colour, but it's still left some some good colour, like the blueberries pop in. Um, they, they've got a, quite a nice purple colour to them, which was pretty fun. We've definitely got some colour there. I'm glad that, that, you know, it was a lighter background so we could see the berries smushed. Now we're going to move on to doing some drawing. I think I'm going to stick a piece of watercolour paper in here because I'd quite like to do my usual style of line and wash and draw some really beautiful berries and add something really quite colourful to this page. Make it even more colourful than yellow because yellow is gross. So I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the video, I had a bowl of berries. Now I actually decided to take a photo of this bowl of berries because I thought it would go perfectly as the drawing for the left page. So I've got a piece of watercolour paper that I've cut into quite a terrible circle and I'm going to use that to draw my bowl of berries. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm just blocking in the shapes basically, getting the outline of all the different fruits that are in the bowl. And then I'm going in with a bit more detail. So adding all those circles on the, are they blackberries? I think they're blackberries. Um, and then with the raspberries, there are a lot more oval circles. I then go in with my Unipin Fineliner 0.8 and go over all those details basically. And then I'm going to get out my paints. But to start with, instead of just using watercolour, I decided to use the juice from the berries. And that is the actual source around the edge of the berries, which I thought was just a nice little addition. Um, and that just shows you what sort of colour you get. Obviously, it's not as opaque as the watercolour, but yeah, I just I thought it was very cool. So now I'm going on to my actual watercolour, as you can see it's a lot more vibrant um, but yeah so I'm just adding a dark red to the outside of the strawberries and then I'm going to lighten it up as I go to the middle to show that uh, the light is hitting the top of the strawberries. Um, comment of the day, uh, what is your favourite berry? 
I think mine is raspberry. Um, they're just, I, I really like tart, you know, sour stuff. Uh, I love lemon and things like that. So raspberries, yeah, they, they, they fill that hole, <laughs> literally. I'm now going in with a lot more detail now. Um, as you can see, I've added a purple into the center of the, the juice on the bowl um, just to, you know, give it a bit more 3D definition. And then with the bowl, I wanted to go quite abstract. So instead of making it quite a realistic bowl, because I thought I'm probably not going to be able to do that. So I've just done these uh, washes of different blues going in the circle and I actually really like how it turned out. I think it just makes it, you know, more of a painting instead of some hyper realistic drawing, um, which I prefer personally. And then I'm going in with my blue proof white. Oh, this just finishes it off. So add in the seeds to the strawberries and then add in a bit of highlight to the top of the the blueberries and the, I forgot what those red berry things are called. I literally just went in the kitchen to have a look what they're called. <laughs> uh, red currants, of course, red currants. So I added some highlights to the blueberries and the red currants. And I think there's actually some black currants in there. Um, but I, I couldn't actually tell the difference between the blueberries and the black currants, so I don't know if I actually got any of in, them in there. Um, and then I'm adding highlights to the juice and the blackberries. And there you have it, this beautiful, beautiful picture. So I'm going to stick that in with just some Pritt stick, uh, adding it to the left page uh, so you can still see all the, uh, the fruit on the right. And then I'm just adding the top of the spoon in there because I realised that I did a circle but I didn't leave a little bit of spoon. Now on to the final shots of this beautiful book. Oh, but wait, um, <laughs> I did start doing the shots, uh, but I realised I haven't Mod Podged over the berries and I didn't want it to go mouldy in my book. So I actually put Mod Podge on the right page. Uh, obviously didn't do it over my watercolour because I didn't want it to run. Um, but yeah, here it is. My beautiful, beautiful drawing. I really enjoyed that video. I hope that you did um, because that uh, just one of the most satisfying things I've ever done. Squishing berries onto paper. Yeah, you should try it and I'll see you next week. Bye. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. Or head over to the Cassie Projects on Facebook, Instagram or TikTok. You can also head over to my website at thecassieprojects.co.uk to find stickers, art prints and even a free gift. Feel free to binge some more videos by clicking the buttons or I'll see you next week. Bye!